It's Movember. Don't forget to participate or at least have a discussion with the bro. Sometimes it's just as simple as letting the hair on your upper lip grow out during the month of November. Help raise funding for the three biggest issues facing men. Mental health, suicide prevention, prostate cancer, and testicular cancer. Click on the banner above for more details. Welcome to Bean Farm Gaming. And this is a review of Bite the Bullet. Developed by Mega Cat Studio and published by Graffiti Games. It was released August 14th for a price of $14.99. Supports two player couch co op, so no Xbox Live is required for this one, baby. Nice. Dad, what are you playing? Contra. You know what would make this game better? If you could eat the bad guys to make you stronger. Introducing Bite the Bullet. Satisfy your appetite for destruction in the world's first run and gun eating game. In this roguelike RPG shooter, you have to eat enemies to power up your character, upgrade your weapon, and explore four diet-based skill trees. Stay well fed and keep stocked up on the calories to energize your special attacks and abilities. Chow down on combat with high-powered weapons like the Critter Cannon and the Meat-Seeking Missile Launcher. Ew. Procedurally generated loot and levels means there's always something new on the menu. In the game, you'll make strategic dietary decisions to either be an herbivore, a carnivore, or a metal machine eater. These dietary paths are affected by your character's skill tree, containing 50 skill upgrades in each path. This allows you to customize your character to either be a lean and fast runner and gunner, or a heavy tank character. There's even a skill tree for eating your enemy's bullets to gain ammo and additional HP. Yeah, super fuzz. This storyline is pretty hard to explain as the developer describes it. In the near distant future, economic collapse has led to the worldwide famine, the food shortage. Scientists created an implant that allowed its users to eat any material, organic or otherwise. However, the implant caused genetic mutations that turned its wares into zombies. It's humanity left the Earth to thrive elsewhere. Years later, the corporate boogeyman Darwin Corps hires mercenaries to return to Earth to extract the genetic material from these zombies. Even though the levels are procedurally generated in design, after a set number of levels, you're given boss battles to conquer. Most were standard fare with repeated attack patterns, which once learned could be exploited. The Game Boy is pretty solid, standard fare of these SNK-style run-and-gun pixel shooters. It's no wonder the eating mechanic was so heavily touted. It's what really separates this from the collection of Metal Slug games that have been saturating the marketplace for years. Overall, Bite the Bullet wasn't the game I typically enjoy, and suffers from many of the issues retro indie developers face when designing a modern game within the confines of a small bitrate memory size. Slower frame rates and dated texture patterns plagued my whole experience, preventing me from getting too engrossed. On the upper hand, the arcade-style music and sound effects kept my attention as the guitar riffs mixed with the sounds of my upgraded weapon sets. If this game was an arcade cabinet 30 years ago, I would have easily dumped 100 quarters into it. Therefore, Bite the Bullet is getting three and a half beans out of this farm. Well, 